happy birthday, if it's your birthday, happy blade birthday, if it's in the past, happy future birthday, if it's in the future, my name is Lime Green, welcome back to the Out of Time Podcast, episode 3 of Five Nights at Freddy's 3, what is the Out of Time Podcast? It's the podcast where you, yes you, request games that I've never played before, and I finally get to sit down and play them for the first time ever and then I go through you know day by day part by part and I I tell you my experiences about the first time playing them we've done Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Mega Man Battle Network and the first three FNAF games and this time we're going to be covering uh, Knights 5 through six and seven uh, we'll, we'll just get into it uh, there's a lot to talk about here pull up my notes here my phone's telling me uh oh it just went away it said like terraria outsold super mario brothers <laughs> i i guess that's it's video game related Where did it go? Said. Alright, so I start off night five. And, you know, last time I said, uh, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's, so I feel like I'm enjoying it a lot more than FNAF 2 and FNAF 1. You know, I'm actually uh, beating the game. At, Proficient pace. I don't have to cheat. <laughs> you know, I can't cheat in this game, so I have to rely on my skills. And night four, I beat it all on my own in one go, which was crazy to me. So night five, I jumped in, and all of a sudden, the game pulled me out of cams to get spring trapped. I like. <laughs> I legitimately thought, thought it was a cutscene or something. I was at 4 a.m. at 4 going to 5. Springtrap got me again. And then he just appeared at 3. And then again at 3. Uh, I stopped him from getting close in the vents. And then we played, <laughs> we played around in cams. Then boom, he appeared magically in my room at four. And then I was like, my FNAF skills, they're draining away. And he got me at two. And then I was pulled again out of camp to get spring trapped this time. Oh, curtains, blinds. This time I saw what happened. It was the puppet. If you see the puppet in the cams, you automatically get pulled into this cutscene thing where, like, you get pulled out of the cams and you get spring trapped automatically. <laughs> and that was at 1 a.m. I had to do like a. What do you call it? A play by play on my cameras. Uh, and then I lost the unit too. Nothing really special happened. And then the next time I beat the game. I I have to say that wasn't so so hard. Uh, just took a couple of tries. The little puppet mix up was uh I wasn't expecting that. You get rewarded with a little mini game where Crying Child. Also, I called them Crying Child last time, and I wasn't sure if that was the right thing to call them up because they're not really a child, correct? Are they a ghost, right? Every time, every FNAF video, I should mention. You know, I dabble in FNAF videos. You know, ID's Fantasy, 
Cry Toast, John FNAF, Milm, and of course, Matt Pat and Markiplier, the Kings. You know, so sometimes a doco video, but uh, I don't like seek them out. If they show up in my recommended, you know, I'll throw them on and, you know, I I'll watch them and then go, cool, cool. And then, like, five minutes in, and when they start talking about Fazgu, then I'm like, mm, I I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> you know, they start talking about those high-level le concepts. But. What? To wrap around what I was saying, they normally show the FNAF 4 crime child. So I wasn't sure if FNAF 3 Crying Child is Crying Child, right? So when you get when you beat <laughs> Night 5, Crying Children scare Purple Guy into a suit. Then he gets spring locked. And then that, that's the end of the movie, you know? And that's like bad ending. One star. I have to say. Give you credit, FNAF 3. You make people want to complete the rest of your game. I I'll give you props for that. So, <laughs> I jumped into Night 6. And then immediately got hit with a 1am, 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 2am. And I was like, okay. You know, there's some mini games I have to do. And... <laughs> I'll, I'll confess, like I confessed before, I'm playing on the Switch board. And even though Click Team, they've upgraded the game before, I, I really think they gotta update the game again, because I tried forever. They did do like a super cool thing where you can start from night one because some of these mini games are like night what would you say night specific so if you start from night one again you don't have to replay everything and then you know fight your way up to night six even though i, I wasn't having a hard time with this game uh, that, that's a very generous thing thank you click team but I could not, for the life of me, get any of these mini games to work. Especially because <laughs> I don't even know how to explain this. In FNAF 3, you have to tap <laughs> on a very specific spot, on a very specific camera in a very specific order and then a mini game is supposed to pop up well why couldn't you just be like any <laughs> any other game and a cheat code and be like hey tap up up b a b a down down up a left right left right b a start why couldn't you <laughs> why couldn't you have a normal cheat code So, I looked up, like, what the mini games were, and I'll have the link to all the mini games in the description if you, too, want to know what they <laughs> look like. I don't know why you're here if you, uh, don't know what they look like, but I'll throw in the description. Uh, so the first one is BB's Air Adventure. You play as Balloon Boy jumping around on balloons. Uh, there's a kid there. A crime child, perhaps? And a bunch of Shadow Balloon Boys later on. And in front of a shadowy thing? The FNAF Wiki <laughs> even calls it a structure. We need some FNAF theorists over in FNAF 3 to figure out what this is. I said it kind of looks like the puppet. To be honest, 
and then you have to glitch through a wall to get the final balloon. And I said, this is, this is what gave Scott the idea to make FNAF World, because in all these mini games you have to glitch around. And then in Mangle's Quest, you have to place Mangle, just saying Mangle, top tier animatronic. Uh, you have to put yourself back together. There's a guy that tries to dismantle you. You gotta watch out for. And you go through the walls. And... You see another sad <laughs> puppet statue. And you have to go through... Across the balloons from BB's Air Adventure. You see a blue moon. Well, what's that representative of? Is Mangle sad? Is sad at night? <laughs> I don't know. And that's the game. And Chica's party. I feel like there should be another word there. Uh, you collect cupcakes and pass them out. The kids are literally starving on the floor. Nothing crazy. Oh, nothing crazy really happens except their clothes go from blue to green when they <laughs> get a cupcake. What's going on in FNAF 3? And then there's another minigame, Stage 1, where he plays Golden Freddy, and he looks like a hamster. And Spring Bonnie is there. Why does <laughs> Freddy look like a hamster? You have to glitch to the exit. And, alright, this is the big one. I don't even know how to say this. R W Q F S F A S F S X. C. Shadow body. You know how easy this would be if this would just be glitched up. Why does... Why do they just glitch around? What, <laughs> what power does Shadow body have? I don't know. That's not Afton, is it? I don't know. My mind, like, broke when I saw that. Explain that in the comments. And then you go to Happy Estate and all the kids have a birthday party with cake and balloons and each kid has a different mask and there's Freddy and Foxy and Bonnie and you as the puppet as the crying child as Golden Freddy and Chica is there I would suspect but none of them really look like Chica so I, I don't know. Explain that one. And <laughs> and uh, their forms all disappear, leaving behind only their masks. And then you got a good ending with all their suits there, and then their lights blink out. And then <laughs> if you beat Night 6, which, which I gave up trying, because I beat Nights 5, 1 through 5, without cheats. You know, give me that. It's, it's, it's 5 Nights at Freddy's, not <laughs> 6 Nights at Freddy's. Uh, you get newspaper clippings saying a new local attraction we saw an ancient pizzeria has burned to the ground overnight. The authorities have not rolled out foul play, but it seems to be faulty wiring. Very little was found at the scene. The few items that were salvaged we sold at a public auction. So my thinking is I know very little about Pizzeria Simulator, but I think Pizzeria Simulator comes next to the timeline, just how that's worded. Like, public auction, and Pizzeria Simulator has you buying animatronics. I think that's correct. That sounds correct, right? Right? <laughs> I don't know, but Shadow Bonnie is like the weirdest thing ever. Like my mind broke, especially when I saw Shadow Bonnie glitching around through the screen, through the mini. I'm not sure. I haven't thought about that in like years. Let me know <laughs> what was going on with that. And I'll see you in FNAF 4. I already bought the book. The Silverized book. So FNAF 4. 
is definitely happening sometime soon. So get ready for that. I am ready for <laughs> whenever that happens. The entire FNAF experience. I am ready to find out. Shadow Bonnie, Glitch Trap. Why is Shadow Bonnie not Glitch Trap? And why is Glitch Trap more humanoid than <laughs> Shadow Bonnie? I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>